Georgie's gaming guide. So today I'm going to be building the pig house set number 21170 and it's made out of 490 pieces. Now this set includes two minifigures. They are a creeper and Alex and then this set also includes a baby pig and a pig. Now this set measures over five and a half inches or 14 centimeters high, eight inches or 20 centimeters wide, 7.5 inches or 19 centimeters deep. So if we just have a look at the back of the box, so it shows that a couple of things sort of like lift up. It's like we could explode the pig house and it also shows that the whole side opens up. So I think that that is really cool. And to be honest, I can't wait to start building this. So without further ado, let's start building. So, this is the finished model, and on all, I do think that it looks absolutely incredible. But just before we get on to main model, let's have a look at the minifigs that are included in this set. So, first, we have got the creeper. So, obviously, we have got the creeper head and the main piece of body, and then we have got two 1v2s, which are actually on the side to give it that nice, smooth look. Next, we have got Alex with a golden shovel, uh, orange ginger hair and then the green um, shirt and then the brown trousers. Then we have got the pig. So obviously it is mainly pink with black and white eyes and then sort of a brownish nose. Sorry if you can't really see the details it's because the light is really bright. And then the baby pig is just about the same but instead of the two different feet it's got this black bit on the bottom to symbolize the feet. It's basically the exact same just, in a, just as a smaller minifigure. So if we have a look at the main model, so on the ground here looks like we've got sort of a waterfall coming from the pig's mouth, sort of looks like the pig's drooling. Then we have got like a carrot and wheat farm, um, I'm presuming that is wheat, that very well could be just full grown carrots. Then we have got a crate and a carrot in it, we've got a little bit of greenery of the stairs going up to the door and then on the side here we have actually got an opening pig pen which is quite nice. So. I think the Lego did a, a really, really good job on that, to be honest, and uh, it's a really nice design, especially as it's in between the legs, there's a lot of room there, so you can actually fit quite a few different animals if you actually wanted to have different animals in there. Now, on the top, so you can get better access into the pig house, you can take this top bit off, and also, you can, you can also take this one off as well. So this just gives you more access to the inside. Now th there are bits like this here, all around, we that's how that sits on, but this just slides in because there's some um, flat pieces that stick out at the top. And probably the biggest, well one of the biggest playability features on this is that the whole side opens up, obviously the door opens up as well, but the whole side opens up revealing a torch, a bed, a crafting table, a furnace, and then back here, not sure how well you'd be able to see this, we've got three bookshelves with like a little bit of water which is supposed to um, which is supposed to be where this sits on. And 
something that is really, really cool and very destructive. That is why I've left it to the last bit of this review, is if you push down hard enough on this... Yeah, it didn't really work very well because I didn't like smack it down. But yeah, the whole model actually comes apart like you just saw there and the head comes off. So the whole model does come apart very, very easily. But it is a really, really good playability feature to be honest. And I think LEGO's done a really nice job on it. And it really does add to the set a lot. Now for playability, obviously with that and with everything that opens and all the different scenes you can make, playability is awesome. This playability again is absolutely outstanding. Um, I'd really recommend this obviously for somebody who likes Minecraft and for somebody who likes really good in playability sets because this is definitely more for playability than displayability. That is just in my opinion but yeah I definitely say this is definitely more for playability. Um, and yeah so I would really recommend it and it is a really really good set. And yeah I think that is everything I'm going to be saying in this video today and I really hope you enjoyed it. And yeah so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. If you if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like, subscribe, and leave a comment and leave a comment on what you thought about the set. And also make sure you watch out for this Sunday's video, which is going to be the Leg Ideas Big Bang Theory set.